Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Hero bringing Tauruses their weekly love read. Taurus, this is for the week of August 1st through the 7th. We're going to do you, them, and the connection. Um, and then we're going to get some oracle cards, some message cards, and we're going to finish off the read with heart songs of the 90s, songs in the keys of love by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Guys, keep in mind that this is a general read. If you're interested in um, checking out your moon or your rising signs, if this one's not resonating with you, feel free to do so. There is a link in the description box um, for you to get that information of what your moon and your rising signs are if you are unaware. There's also a link in the description box for a personal read from me. So if you're interested in getting a personal read with me, um, feel free to check that out. Also, thank you so much guys for coming to my channel and watching my videos. I appreciate you greatly. Um, and if you want to get in on a free love read guys, um, there is a uh, free love read contest going on right now. If you go to my YouTube page and watch the very short free love reading contest. It tells you how to get in to the contest. Um, all you really have to do is subscribe to my channel, like and comment on that video, and it'll put you into the drawing. It'll be drawn on the 31st of July. Um, so you got a couple days to do that, depending on when you watch this video. Um, yeah, so let's get into it, guys. Thanks for coming to my channel. All right, so you, them, and the connection. This is interesting, guys. Go. Oh. Oh, okay. So you are showing up. Um, I feel like there's, you're feeling like you need to either apologize to someone or provide them with a love offer. I kind of get that this is much more of an apology, to be truly honest. I feel like you're feeling like you have done something that you aren't proud of or kind of wish you could take back. I don't think it's a huge, huge thing, but I think this is something that you've been thinking about a ton. This is you uh, losing sleep, you not being able to um, console yourself. You're like crying in your bed at night, just very full of anxiety and stress and um, not getting a lot of really good rest because I feel like in a love opportunity, you feel like you need to either come across with a love offer or apologize, maybe even both. Um, I do see you keeping yourself pretty guarded. I do see your, you keeping yourself kind of shut out. You're not really letting a lot of things in. I think there's a lot of opportunity for you here. Um, all these ones want to get in your circle, um, but you're only letting one kind of get in there. You're keeping yourself extremely guarded. Your person is showing up as a um, pretty consistent person. I do see them walking away from a situation. I'm not sure if... It is like walking away from being single to, to you as the son or walking away from a, a past relationship towards you or their son. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if you're their son, to be truly honest. But uh, this is um, in tarot. The sun card is the most positive in the deck. So I like this eight of cups because she's walking away from this nice bowl of glory goodness, right? Um, but she's walking towards the sun, which is her happiness. So um, she's making or he's making some changes and moving away from something to go towards her happiness. It could be you. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I do feel like they do want a new start with you, um, a new start that's committed and loyal. They're looking for a real commitment. They're not looking just to play games, but they are not really speaking to you a lot either. They um, are kind of keeping tabs on you through social media. Um, or friends of friends and asking about you to try to seek information. So I feel like um, they do want a new start with you, but they're kind of seeking information versus going directly to the source. But I see them moving towards their happiness, which could be you. I think I'm going to have to actually, uh, oh no, we'll just do bottom of the deck energy so to get more information. Okay, so the connection right now <laughs> is not really going anywhere. It's interesting because we have the seven, eight, and the nine of swords in this spread. Within nine cards, we have seven, eight, and nine of swords. So um, I do feel like the connection, there's been some lies and deceit. I do, I, if I'm being truly honest, guys, I kind of feel like you have been the one that's not been honest. And I think that's why you feel like you need to apologize. And I think that's why you're having some sleepless nights. Um, I feel like the situation is... Um, kind of being self-sabotaged by your overthinking. I think this person is willing to kind of take a new start. This person is willing to uh, walk away from something to get their happiness, right? They're willing to have this new love offer. But I feel like you're so stuck up in your head and you're so guarded that you're not really allowing this situation to move forward. 
Um, but I do see these these tendencies of being um, self-sabotaging and lying to their yourself or lying to others. I do see that coming to an end um, with the world card. The world card is like a completion of a cycle. Um, so I feel like into a positive situation. So I feel like um, your situation, if it wasn't positive, that cycle is going to be ending and something positive will be coming. The bottom of the deck, we still have that nine of wands energy, which is similar, right? Um, to the seven of wands. But this card I like because this person hasn't given up. They're showing perseverance. Yes, they're not really like just taking whatever you give them or vice versa. Um, they're going to kind of be protective as well. But I see the queen of cups. So that's true love. And I see a wish fulfillment. And I see um, a fool, the fool card here. Someone's ready to take this leap of faith and jump forward to get their wish fulfillment. And they definitely have some true love. But uh, very, very guarded. So I feel like this situation between you and your person is probably not really doing a ton right at the moment. Um, but with this world card, um, everything will be coming to completion soon. And I think things will be moving forward after that. I think your person just kind of keeping their distance, but they do want a uh, connection with you. They have this Ace of Pentacles energy here. This is the, sh yep, I always say it wrong, the Queen Sugar Tarot deck. Um, this deck is called the Love and Romance Journey. So the card that just fell out already was Magnetic Connection. So I feel like um, you are drawn to this person. They are drawn to you. I feel like um, that is not anything that you can deny. There's definitely something there. Um, but you're in separation. Yeah, separation. Summer and intimacy. So I feel like... Yes, there's definitely a magnetic connection between the two of you. I don't think you guys are talking or doing much. I feel like you are in a separation period. This does not mean that you were technically together before. Um, and your apologies can have something to do with something on a much smaller level than having a prior relationship. Um, I do feel like this summer, though, we still got a little bit of summer left here. Um, you will be finding intimacy with this person. I feel like this is kind of hard to see kind of hard to see either way but the light doesn't help it looks different <laughs> um but i do think this summer you will have some intimacy i think um that's going to play into um your situation i think it's, if you have like some intimacy with this person and i'm not talking about necessarily having sex with them but um i feel like if you become intimate if you start to share your thoughts and your feelings um you will become less guarded and things will kind of open up that cycle of that self doubt and sabotage will be completed right um so this is the hermit tarot channel love messages we have i think so yes so i think that's validation that i'm telling you the right thing or if you're just thinking of something your answer is i think so yes I lie awake thinking about our future. Yeah, that's that nine of swords energy again. I, that's you. You're lying awake thinking about their future. Ace of swords. So you want this new start with them. You have mental clarity. You know what you want. Um, I, or they know what they want for. I need more time. And they are waiting for you. I feel like... I feel like, guys... Um, I feel like they are waiting for you. I feel like you're the one that feels like you need more time. I think they have their clarity. But you're too busy lying awake in your bed worried about them. Worried about the situation. Worried about what's going to happen. Um, I feel like it's that like Kane Smith song. Oh, Kane Smith. Kane Brown. What the heck? I don't even know where Kane Smith came. I don't even know who Kane Smith is. Kane Brown. Um, <laughs> the song What Ifs. What Ifs. All right, so these are White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. Things aren't always as they seem. I know who you are to me. Mm. So we meet again, my dear friend, through space and across time. So with this magnetic connection, I feel like if you don't really know, know this person, um, you are going to be coming back together or you knew this person on like a friendship level previously. Your name is following me everywhere. So they may be seeing your name. You may be seeing their name. All right. We're going to get a couple of, I'm sorry, Love Exists Visions cards from, this is the romance, Alice's Romance Oracle. I can't talk today. I, I wait till it's too late to start these videos and then my brain turns to mush. So let's see what other, oh my God. Let's see what other messages there are for Taurus. Sorry, I just got a message on my phone. I effed up. 
I feel like that's you. I feel like that's why you need to apologize. You And you know you screwed up. Um, I hope you're not with someone else. And I am feeling overwhelmed. These are all messages uh, from you to them. And then on the bottom of the deck, it says, I'm planning on calling you soon. All right, guys. So to complete the read for you, Tauruses, we're going to finish off with the heart song, Songs in the Keys of Love. This is the 90s version from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. I like this deck. I didn't even really shuffle that, but I love the 90s. I love 90s music. Um, so I really enjoy these cards, but this song could either resonate with you personally. It could resonate with you and the person that's on your mind, or you just need to listen to the lyric. Okay. Um, can't live without your love and affection from Nelson, from Nelson. It's really the Nelson twins. I don't know if you remember Ricky Nelson's sons, long blonde hair. Anyways, um, here she comes just like an angel. She seems like forever that she's been on my mind. Nothing has changed. She thinks I'm a waste of her time. There she goes. No, she does. She don't know what she's missing. She, I can't. I'm like trying hard not to sing this. Sorry. Can't she see? I'll never give up the fight. I'll do what I can. She understands my desires. I've been looking on the outs. Oh my God. I can't read. Let me, let me, let me start all over. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm annoying myself today. Um, Here she comes, just like an angel. Seems like forever that she's been on my mind. Nothing has changed. She thinks I'm a waste of her time. There she goes. No, she don't know what she's missing. Can't she see? I'll never give up the fight. I'll do all I can. She understands my desire. I've been on the outside looking in. Let me into your heart. Oh, there's nothing on earth that should keep us apart. And then it goes on to say, I can't live without your love and affection. I can't face another night on my own. Um, but those were not the lyrics on the song. So just take the ones I read to you, okay? All right, Tauruses, I hope you enjoyed this read um, with all my flaws and mess ups and everything. Um, please excuse all that. But thank you, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.